In this video, I will show you how to update your Promethean software. There are a couple of steps to this. Please feel free to pause the video at any time in order to write down any information that you might need. Step one, you need to determine what your proxy settings are. In other words, your address and port number. I will show you how to find those items at this time. First, I'll go to Start, Control Panel. From this screen, I'm looking for Internet Options. Once I have this window open, I'm going to select Connections. Next, I will select LAN Settings. The numbers that you will need for our next step are now displayed. Be sure to record the address and the port number. When recording the address, please include the dots. After you have this information recorded, you can close out these windows. Next, open up Active Inspire. Once you've opened up Active Inspire, go to File and then select Settings. Select the Settings tab, then select Online Settings. We will now use the information we previously recorded. Under Proxy Server Name, enter your proxy server number. A note, people's proxy server uh, names and numbers will be different. So I'm entering a certain number. That does not necessarily mean that that will be your number. That's why it's important to record that information uh, from the LAN settings. Enter the address into the proxy server name. Enter the port number into the HTTP port number. Once you've entered these items, click Done. The next step is to select Help and select Check for Updates. It will indicate to you that version 1.6.4742, um, excuse me, 32 is now available. I'm going to select OK, and this will begin the process of downloading the software. I'm going to select Save. I tend to save things to the desktop that I'm working with. So I select Desktop, and I click Save. After the software has been downloaded, I will select Run. I will then select Run again. At this time, Active Inspire will begin to update to the most recent version. When prompted to, go ahead and click Next, accept the terms, then click Next again. We don't need to change anything here. I'm going to go ahead and click Next again and install. If it needs to close any applications, uh, allow it to close them by clicking OK.
When prompted to, select Finish. To determine that the update was successful, open up Active, Active Inspire again. And when it's open, select Help and select Check for Updates. If the software tells you the update check was successful, you have the, the latest version, you're all set. So to review, first be sure to determine your proxy address and port number. Record that information. Open up Active Inspire. Enter the information. Then run the updates. This has been how to update your Active Inspire software.